On January 8th, 2019, the United Kingdom selected their entry for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. And it really took me by surprise. The artist who will fly the flag for the UK at the Eurovision Song Contest in May is... Michael Rice! The winner was Michael Rice with the song Bigger Than Us, which Honestly, I was not a huge fan of when I heard the radio version. This happened last year with Suri too. The radio version just didn't grab me, I just wasn't feeling it. When he sung his song live, I just, I knew it was the one. I knew that was the song that we had to send to Tel Aviv. <laughs> His voice is just impeccable, it's so powerful. He brings such amazing energy and gravitas to the performance that I think will really come across well. And before the contest even began, my favourite was Holly Tandy with her rendition of Bigger Than Us. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I love a country song in the Eurovision. Admittedly, yes, we did do it with Bonnie Tyler, and that ended oh so well. But Holly's song was genuinely pretty damn good. And obviously, it sort of ended up winning, if you consider Michael's version, the same song. On the night, however, I think everyone thought Carrie Ann was going to win. Of all the six or three, we'll get onto that later, songs that were performed, hers seemed to be getting the most traction, the most buzz online. <laughs> Again, when I first heard the radio version, I just wasn't keen. But she really pulled it out of the bag singing live. In fact, all the artists did. All their songs really came to life on screen. Admittedly, I didn't really think any of them were that good going into it. But on the whole, I was really impressed. There were some really great vocals and some really great staging going on. The exception being, I hate to say, made. I know a place where the blues and broken they said in their opening VT that it was the first time they'd ever actually performed live and it really, really showed. There was definitely a lot of promise there, but it just felt a little bit messy, a little bit incomplete. And unfortunately, that was not the only disappointment of the evening. The new format they tried was not good at all. I get that the BBC were trying to shake it up a bit, they've got a new producer in the helm. They just made watching on at home really confusing. For the unaware, there were three songs, each sung twice by two different acts, meaning that there was a total of six songs to choose from. Three songs sung two ways by two different artists each time. That means you'll hear them 376 <laughs> times. But we didn't get a choice of all six. We only voted on three. They called them song offs. They had the two artists doing the same song sing back to back. And then a panel of, let's be real, two unqualified professionals and Ryan and Clark Neal decided which one of those two acts would go through to the public vote. I now need to ask you the name of the artist that you would like to send through to tonight's final and that all important public vote. Judges, you decide dramatic music. It's just felt unfair. The programme is called You Decide. It's not called You Decide Half the Acts whilst the judges decide the others. By all means, run with this new format, but give us all six songs to choose from. Don't take away half our choices whilst we're watching the bloody show. And the scale of it too felt off. It didn't feel right either. This year it came from a TV studio in Salford and it really really show. The production itself was sleek, it was professional, it was very well handled, but you could just tell it was on a much smaller scale and a much smaller budget than the last year's efforts. Now, none of that is to say I didn't enjoy the show, I did, I loved it. It's one of the highlights of my year, I love to be involved in the process, I think it's fantastic that the BBC trusts us to choose their act each year. And Mel and Mons were on fire yet again, they were just fantastic. If there's a song you love, don't rely on others to vote for it. I won't be able to go to Brussels to find a new song. One of the standout moments of the show was Mons's Eurovision medley, it was so great to see him singing along to all these songs and clearly having the time of his life. <laughs> Ooh, 
And it was fantastic to see Netta and Suri perform. Although they did shine a light on how terrible our six choices were this year. The less said about that, the better. Which is all to say it wasn't all bad. I just feel like it could have been better. I know I sound like a broken record, I say it every year, but we need to have some kind of semi-final round. We need to have a jury, we need to have big arena shows, we need to have money pumped in to finding our artists. I find it crazy that we paid so much money to be part of the big five, so we're in it every year, yet we put in such a minimal amount of effort each time. And I know it sounds really bitchy and mean, but I genuinely feel like the BBC can do better. Something as simple as inviting more actors or just having a second show would make the whole experience feel much more rewarding as a viewer. And also, having literally just watched the Australians national final, I hate to make a comparison, but seriously guys, if a country that aren't even in Europe can do it, why can't we? But what about you, humble viewer? What do you think of the United Kingdom's entry for this year's Eurovision? Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, if you did like this, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and click subscribe for more. Make loads of videos about all things Eurovis, including a review of the Australian national final coming soon. And if you do want to keep watching more, just click links on screen now. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye.